Thank you for your interest in learning more about the Women in Engineering Outreach Programs run by the University of Auckland's Faculty of Engineering. Kia ora, my name is Lycia and I'm currently the Outreach Coordinator for Women in Engineering. I'm also a PhD student at the Auckland Bioengineering Institute, working on modeling brain behavior for motor control in digital humans. But it was my interest in design which led me to study engineering. I took fashion and design technology all throughout high school, and as well as making costumes for the school play and participating in wearable art competitions, I also learned about cool new technology like 3D printing and computer aided design and modeling software. I used to be a teacher through the Akamata Tupu Teach First New Zealand program, and I still really enjoy my work with students through the Women in Engineering Network, which I will talk more about later. So let's start by talking about design and engineering and the need for diversity. At the core of engineering is the design cycle. This includes identifying a brief or opportunity, the constraints and stakeholders you are working with, idea generation, project planning, testing, and evaluating. It is an iterative cycle, allowing creators to continuously update and modify their designs. So the field of engineering is a broad one, encompassing a wide range of industries, from renewable energy to prosthetics, to water, robots, transportation, and even food. But there is a current issue in the representation within technology and engineering, with people like Jeff Bezos of Amazon, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, Bill Gates of Microsoft as dominant icons within the tech industry. So we need more engineers of diverse backgrounds who reflect the society we live in and who will participate in the design process. With more diverse populations, we will get more diversity of thought which can ensure new products and solutions which work for and benefit a wide range of society. So now I'll discuss what we are doing to encourage more diversity within engineering through our Women in Engineering Outreach programs. The Women in Engineering Network, or WIN, is made up of students who identify as female who are currently studying engineering at the University of Auckland. The mission of WIN is to inspire and empower women to achieve their aspirations in engineering. We do this by building connections with past alumni and future students, providing professional development opportunities, as well as promoting an inclusive environment to foster a sense of belonging for our female students in spaces which are traditionally male dominated. Our current initiatives are run by students and for students with faculty support at the university. This includes orientation for new students, mentorship programs with senior students and professional engineers, as well as social and well being events throughout the year. We also have programs for high school students, which include many on campus events throughout the year from presentation and information evenings to interactive demos and even camp, visits out to school around New Zealand where we do presentations and workshops. We also provide subject support for maths and physics and a mentoring and buddy program. All our initiatives are also 100% free for schools and students, thanks to funding and support from industry partners. Our in-schools program has been running for just over two years, starting in 2019, and we have visited a growing number of schools all around New Zealand, with a large number of WIN volunteers available to share their stories and provide information about what being an engineer is like. When we visit a school, a group of three to four WIN students share their stories about what got them into engineering, share some projects that they have been working on, and then run a hands-on activity. These workshops are designed to get students thinking about the possibilities around engineering, as well as linking back to what they might be learning about in the classroom. One of our activities involves students working with Spheros, which are programmable robots. 
They do block coding to navigate the robot along a path on a map. And this introduces them to basic coding and computational thinking. Another one of our activities is an electrical kit where students use sensors and actuators to design and build circuits on breadboards. Students can gain experiences with electrical circuits, which are found in everyday objects like appliances. This year, we also worked with KiwiBots in supporting school robotics clubs with mentors who visited the students weekly or, fortnight or fortnightly for six to eight sessions over term two and term three. KiwiBots is the organization which manages the VEX International Robotics Competition. Our mentors are available to support students and teachers at various levels who are interested in designing and building robots. We also run an on annual online design competition. This year, the theme was wearable art and students used computer aided design software to create a wearable that could be 3D printed. The winner got a 3D printer and there were also hundreds of dollars worth of vouchers to give away. So students were designing things like pendants, buckles, shoes, earrings, and headpieces. This year we had over 80 students between years seven to 13 participating. And students also had to submit a portfolio of their design process. This is just one example of one of the top entries. She submitted a really high quality design workbook of an, interest, of an intricate bracelet and the bracelet used the mathematical patterns of a Fibonacci sequence. So as you can see, there are plenty of opportunities for your schools and your students to get involved in with our faculty. So I'll just finish up this presentation by discussing future study options within engineering and potential future development. There are 10 specializations available for undergraduate study at the University of Auckland. Civil engineering, which involves transport networks. Mechanical engineering, designing motors and machinery. Structural engineering, making sure buildings stay standing, especially during earthquakes. Electrical engineering, making sure we all have power in our homes. Chemical and materials engineering, which includes oil and gas, and cosmetics and food processing. Software engineering, building websites and applications. Mechatronics engineers build appliances. Computer systems engineers also work on hardware and software interfaces. Engineering science uses maths and modeling for optimization of resources. and biomedical engineering involves designing devices for healthcare. So engineering and technology are broad fields involving design and creation, but it is also important to realize how interlinked technology is with education and society. The design and creation of new products or systems is affected by policy and regulation, as well as education and research which in turn have an influence on what is designed and created for our society. So we were all impacted and engaged with design cycles in our lives and in our work. This allows us to continuously improve and develop. So whether you are a teacher doing your teaching as inquiry portfolio or an engineer developing a new product. We are also continuously updating our initiatives. So if you have any ideas you would like to discuss, we would welcome any collaboration in our outreach and our research work. So please come along and visit us in one of our open days or even request a tour of the faculty. You can also get in touch via our email address, which is wie at auckland.ac.nz. And you can find out more at our website, Women in Engineering dot auckland dot ac dot nz thank you so much for listening